Hello everybody and welcome to Whispers from the Wood. This is my first episode of our weekly series and we've taken a walk out in a conifer plantation and we've seen some interesting things here that we wanted to share with you. So today we're going to be talking about animal tracks and signs. Let's take a look at what we found here on this uh, sawn stump. Something has had a really good feast here and eaten up the seeds from these cones. I'm pretty sure that these cones belong to the Sitka spruce. Norway spruce cones are longer than this and uh, a little bit tougher. These are a bit more flaky and soft to the feel. Now it's the Sitka spruce that's the most commonly planted conifer tree here in Britain. It's the one that makes up a lot of the conifer plantations which are managed by the Forestry Commission. Another way you can tell these are Sitka spruce is by looking at the lower bark. Here we are at the base of the tree and you can see how the bark is split up into little platelets. A bit like skin that's cracked and got very dry. So that's a key sign that we've got Sitka here. Looking a bit higher on this spruce you can see what looks like candle wax dripping all the way down the trunk. That is resin and it makes a really great natural fire starter. Just a little tip there in case you're ever stuck in the woods overnight. Let's get back to these animal tracks and signs and get a look at this little feeding station here. Now whatever animal is doing this, and it is a mammal, is not eating the cones themselves, it's eating the seeds which are behind all these scales here. And it's ripping them apart, a bit like corn on the cob. I like to think of it how a cartoon character used to eat corn on the cob and they spin it round and it takes all the flakes off and it's gone, you've just got the bare stalk left. But what this animal is doing is ripping off these flakes and getting to the seed that is at the base there and that's what it's eating. And there must be enough goodness in that food for it to be worth the effort because these seeds are very small but there are a lot of them and it's an abundant food source at this time of year. The animal that's doing this is the grey squirrel. Now the likelihood of all these cones having fallen on the stump here is not too high. So I'm thinking the squirrel has actually come and brought some of the cones on here for feeding. It stripped a lot of the scales off here to get to the seeds. And the reason why it's done it up here high is because while it's feeding, it can be looking out for any potential predators, any potential danger. And what we also have around here as well are some other little high points where the squirrel has fed as well. Down lower in the little dips, because the ground is quite up and down here from old forestry works, the squirrel hasn't fed. It's only been doing it on the high points. So it's using those high points to look out for danger. What this demonstrates is that it's really good to slow down when you're walking. And we say this a lot in our whispers from the woods, that when you slow down, that's when you start to notice details. And it's not important to know the answers and go, oh, that's a gray squirrel feeding on Sitka spruce cones. You know, that can come with experience. What's important is that you ask the question and you allow your mind to wander. That's everything for this week. We'll see you again soon for another Whispers from the Wood.